Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are getting the S10 ready to go down to Florida for the Christmas tree race. You've seen in the last video, we got the big 408 in the truck and um, I have put some miles on it. It's a ripper, so I'm pretty excited about that. Everything seems to be pretty good with the motor. Um, we're getting the lights all set up and so far, we I mean, we kind of just got started on this. Um, we'll start from the back. So <clears throat> all of the lights are ran off the Milwaukee uh, top off and I can daisy chain um, off the plugins and add, keep adding lights. But so far we just got it going up the cage and then it goes through the bed. We got our underglow. Then it comes up through the wheel well and uh, kind of goes all over throughout the grill and the goes around the motor you can see that should be able to see the turbos pretty good at night it's coming along pretty good oh yeah it goes all throughout the uh, inside of the truck as well around the halo and everything and then back down the um, roll cage in the back so right now I think our plan is, I was gonna build a big crazy tree to go all the way up and over, but it's just not practical trying to get that um, 20 hours away down the interstate and everything. So I think we may build off the cage and just build a big old missile coming out of the back of the truck, Christmas tree style. I mean, probably 10 footer like we did last year. Uh, and the whole bed is just gonna be covered in lights. I'm, I'm gonna, we're gonna have thousands of lights in this thing. But uh, first things first, I'm just going to start with some lights before I get a tree. Uh, probably going to buy some more lights. So this thing's going to look pretty sick all lit up, lit up at night. Uh, this run of lights is pretty short. I think I'm just going to uh, zip tie it to the um, back of the wing. And these are kind of like danglers. So that'll look pretty cool once I get it all zip tied up and happy. And... Still gonna do some more testing with the truck and make sure the engine is like really good to go. I was ripping around on, well, on accident. I hit almost 30 pounds of boost. I uh, didn't mean to do that, but once I figured out the boost situation, hooked up the lines correctly, uh, got that figured out. She's on like 15 pounds right now and uh, it's pretty spicy. It rips hard, so. Well, we're just gonna keep ripping. Uh, Billy's over here, Billy Badass. We want to get as many lights on here as we possibly can. And uh, yeah, keep going from there. So I'm looking at last year's Christmas tree. Uh, if you didn't watch, this was a 10 foot tall tree. And my very first run, it snapped clean off at the roof line because it was straight up and it just snapped and laid down. So I, for whatever reason, I saved this tree and we're just kind of weighing some options. Uh, right now it kind of just looks like a Christmas bush instead of a tree. So we may have to go get a new tree, but we're just kind of checking it out. So last year's Christmas tree is probably going to do it. Uh, I mean, it still kind of looks like a bush, but we can fluff it out a little bit more once we get down there because we still have to travel you know a long ways away so this tree is pretty aerodynamic like I said it snapped off right here and all the brushes lay flat when I'm in speed uh, last year I made two passes uh, one with the tree standing up and it snapped right at the end of the track and it felt like I hit nitrous switch like it put me back on my seat even a little bit further when I was at the top end of the track I thought something crazy happened I felt like a boost line blew off but uh, the tree just snapped and I picked up I don't remember what was the I know it was like five or six miles miles per hour but I don't remember the time that I lost just from the tree standing up but anyway now that the tree is flat it's pretty aerodynamic so she should cut right through the wind we're definitely gonna get more lights this is just to start I'm gonna build a tower brace up here and get rid of my bar stool there and it's got there's gonna be a, a bar that goes flat on the bed 
and then two uh, cross beams that go up and hold the tree up. So, man, she's looking pretty decent. All right, guys, we are going to figure out a Christmas tree brace bracket out of some steel we got at Farming Fleet. And here's what I come up with so far. This square stock is going to be our base. So that'll go in the bed. And then we got this L L bracket, L channel. And they're going to bolt to the end like that. And then uh, go up about four foot or so. This is an eight foot stick. So I'm going to cut it in half. And then uh, bolt it to the lower bracket. If I flip it the right way, I can run a screw through this stuff and into the tailgate. So it'll keep it upright. So, eh, this stuff isn't too expensive. I probably have like... 40 bucks here, but it's gonna be the easiest. We can just bolt it together and unbolt it if we need to take it down or move it around. So I think we're gonna rock and roll with this. Well, this worked out way easier than I expected. So like I said, that square stock, that's our base. And then these L brackets, or L channel, whatever you wanna call them, those are our uprights. And then, so we can get rid of our bar, bar stool, finally subscribe uh, and then I just instead of four foot tall I cut it a little bit short and then made a uh, you know flat brace to go this way that way the tree can set on it none of this is tightened down right now that's why it's crooked as all heck but I'm gonna try to get this past the branches and up into the stem of the tree and then zip tie it or strap it or something like that but uh, just got to put some bolts in and then I can run some screws Right through here, just some self-tappers right into the tailgate to keep this thing from moving around or falling over. And, uh, yeah, there we go. It's perfect. So there is my finished project there. Pretty sweet. Just had to use a bolt in each corner. And, uh, I think it is pretty straight. Oh, maybe it's a little crooked. That's definitely crooked. Alright, we'll fix that. But... I'm going to throw it in the truck and uh, bolt it in, and then we'll square it up after that if we really have to. So, And uh, we will paint it. We'll probably paint it either black or green, let it blend in a little bit. And hopefully tonight we can kind of put this thing on the road and do some speed tests. I do need to pull the parachute. I haven't used this parachute since, uh, I don't know, like very beginning of this year. It's probably been eight months, so the parachute has to come out and get repacked regardless. And kind of, I do need to go to the shop, put the hood on, do some nutting and bolting on this thing. But hopefully tonight we can get some cool uh, roller shots with this thing all lit up. It'd be pretty sick. Billy and I just got to the shop. We got the hood on. We did a couple of rips on the way here, and uh, tree didn't move at all. I know it still kind of looks like a bush, um, and I'm not worried about it at the moment. We will fluff this stuff up. Some of the stuff is just kind of laid over, but we will fluff it back up and make it look a little more legit. Also, uh, we're gonna wrap the battery box, the gas tank, and the ice tank. We're gonna wrap all that in uh, Christmas wrap, so it looks like presents underneath the tree. And we'll probably stick maybe a few more boxes under there, wrap that stuff up, make it look like some presents. But uh, man, everything seems happy and healthy. The motor's ripping. 
tree's not moving. Everything's uh, stayed lit up. I do have the the other ones off at the moment, but tonight I think we'll roll around and get some pretty cool night shots. And uh, that's about it, really. I would love to do more testing, but it's so cold and partially wet, nasty. I think it's just going to be, it is what it is. Uh, we'll have to go to the track and slightly untested. So, But uh, yep, yeah, we'll do some night shots tonight and that'll be about it. All right, guys, that was a pretty fun little cruise and uh, night shot deal we did. I kind of had fun with that. It was kind of something that I've always wanted to do and try out. Um, it was pretty cool. So uh, we're pretty much all ready to go. Uh, we leave Wednesday. The race is on Friday night. So hopefully I can put out a video probably Saturday, Saturday morning or so. I'll try to get a video out as soon as I can. Uh, stay tuned. Keep watching. Well, um, we've also got a lot of cool stuff coming up. Um, even after this race is done, uh, we have the Wisconsin Merrill ice drags where we take these and race them literally on the ice. Uh, we put thousands and thousands of screws in our uh, tires and race eighth mile. It's awesome. So we got some pretty cool stuff coming up. But anyways, uh, I appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It's helping me out. Uh, the channel's growing, and I'm pretty stoked about that. So thanks, guys, and uh, I'll catch you right after the big race.